for about two weeks after you guys left it was quiet not really a lot going on and then around Easter time is when we found those clothes upstairs in the attic it was an old garment bag and he brought them down and I told him put them back up it, it, you could just tell how old they were you know it just the bag was like disintegrating when we touched it and he didn't he burned them and after that it's just been non-stop we got back Sunday night and from there on it was just non-stop so like every single day this week yesterday in Connor's room um, toys falling off the shelves multiple different times last night I walked from the kitchen into the living room and I heard a man's voice whisper here she comes it's just been multiple things like out in the driveway Sean said that he hears like somebody running in the yard running in the gravel he always has dark shadows come up on him Tuesday night he said that when he was in his room getting some of his toys he heard a baby crying so he come running out here was scared to death wouldn't go back in his room he told me that he heard the same woman from before when you guys were here last time he heard her talking this week the doors right here especially this door to the laundry room it opens and closes by itself all the time but it's just maybe we go two days without having anything happen and then it's like three or four days in a row it's non-stop so we're just tired of it it's annoying it's frustrating I mean I woke up Sunday night to the kitchen cabinets it sounded like they were opening and closing to me you know and I come in and they're all closed but just the voices the whispering Sean told me the other day that something pulled his shirt he was in the barn and he had his van parked right in front of it he said that he came out of the barn and he just glanced over and he saw an old man sitting in the front seat of his in the passenger seat of his van looking straight forward didn't make eye contact with him or anything he turned around to shut the he was freaked out he turned around and shut the barn door and the guy was gone but he never even it was like he was just oblivious you know to it like he didn't even pay any attention to Sean at all but it's probably every night like at one or two in the morning when he is still up and he's in the garage doing stuff it's shadows coming up on him all the time and like I feel I don't know this sounds weird but I feel like they wanted you guys to come back or they knew they already knew you guys were coming back before I even messaged you to come back because every single day this week something's happened so it's I know that sounds odd but just like yesterday three different times in Connor's room and then I put the one of the cameras in there and nothing happens you know so the last time the evidence we got here did any of that make sense or yeah because the names were related to people that had owned the house before and that had lived here the Mike and Barb from what we had found out and stuff that was related to the original family that built the house and just the noises I mean just like when you guys were outside and just having the TV often you can hear everything it sounds like somebody's walking through here right behind me yeah because even that little building that's out behind the big barn um, I don't know it's just creepy to me every time I walk by it I feel like there's somebody in there staring at me out the window even walking by the big barn it's just like you hear noises like I know you guys heard the big bang in there last time but it, inside it sounds like somebody is inside throwing rocks at it and it's I mean you can hear it plain as day when you walk by it I think obviously that's the old man I don't know if that's the Mike guy or whoever but the woman she's been talking a lot we can just I mean you can't really make out everything all the time but like last night that man that whispered here she comes that's the first time I heard his voice I never heard that before stuff is happening inside that shed that's where the hammer was thrown at him and even when he's in there he's heard voices before so that's what creeps me out I don't know but I feel I honestly feel like they either wanted you guys to come back or they knew you were coming back before I even messaged asking you get you know for help so I've got a device on the bed can you walk over towards the bed any spirits inside this house walk over towards the bed and set my alarm off please they say you move stuff back in the kid's bed. 
back in his bedroom. Are you in the bedroom right now? Specific device is going to pick up energy and then any noises. So like if I snap my fingers, now they've had toys fall off the shelves and stuff in here. They hear loud noises coming from this room. The child hears like a baby crying. Can you come over here and sit next to the bed? Set my device off. That was loud. Came from in there. Can you come in this room? Did you know we were coming back? Did you want us to come back? I keep hearing knocking and loud thumps out there. Come sit next to the bed with me. Come sit on the bed with me. Yeah, out there in that room, I've heard two or three knocks. And this is our second time here, and this house stays pretty quiet. I mean, you don't hear a whole lot of noises. The weather's pretty calm outside, so we're not getting a whole lot of wind. Last time you said your name was Barbara. Who are you? Barbara, give me a sign and let me know that you can hear me. That alarm's going off in here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this camera on the bedroom for right now. Are you recording? I mean, I just set it up and then it started going off again. Okay, so right now we've got, pretty much we got this whole house alarmed. We've got alarms back in the bedroom. We've got alarms in the kitchen, alarms in the band room. If something moves, one of these alarms is gonna go off. I was hearing thumps and stuff coming from this room. You were getting an alarm going off out in the band room. Barbara, did you know we were coming back? There's anybody inside the house? Me and Rocky's back. Do you remember us from last time? Can you move something or hit something and let us know you can hear us? They found clothes up in the attic. Were those your guys' clothes? Yeah, they found clothes that looked like it was from like the 1900s up in the attic in a box. And she told him to put them back, and he went and burned them. So I don't know if that upset them, or you wouldn't think so, but. Was this your house at one point?
Talk to us. Let us know you're here. Just knocking off the right. That way. Are you back here? Can you hit something really hard? I don't know, there's no clock or anything in here. You like having us here? I have a feeling that you used to live here and this was probably your house for a very long time. Why do you keep messing with Sean? So they do have a lot of activity out here. Set one of our alarms off. Let us know you're inside the house. Knocking. Heard Are you outside right now? Yeah, the spirit box on you. Yeah. We'll go in there and shoot a spirit box. We'll restart these. Okay, we're going to run a spirit box session like last time when you spoke to us. Back then, your name, you said, was Barbara. Can you tell me your name? What is your name? Huh? Are you a boy? Did you used to live here? Where are you at inside this house? Did we get a kid last time we were here? I don't remember. What was that? Is there anybody besides the kid that's here? Are you in here with us, yes or no? I like I said trampoline. Do they even have a trampoline? Okay, we're coming outside. you say you were by this trampoline? Are you by this trampoline? What is your mom's name? What is your dad's name? I don't think you're a child. Can you prove it to us? Can you see us? It's a 
saying it's a kid. Did you know we were coming? Did you want us to come back? They said you move stuff in here. Do you come out to these sheds? Why do you come out to these sheds? So the one that threw the hammer at him was probably the next. That one feels fine. What the hell was that? I don't think this, was this stick on the ground before? I don't know. I don't think so. It's almost how like that stick fell. Did you move something in here? If you move this stick, can you move something else? Yeah, we'll have to go back and look at that video and see if that stick was on the floor. I mean, that's what it sounded like, didn't it? Yeah. That sounded like something moved. Fell, fell over or something. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. I'll just pick the stick up. Grab me that camera and I'll put a camera in here. Something flew out of there. Okay, if you can move something in there, move something for us. We're going to walk to the barn. If you can move something in this shed, that'll validate that you're in there with us. Okay, let's leave that record and we'll head out to the barn. Guess they don't go out here very much. My name's Josh, this is Rocky. Did you throw a hammer at Sean in this garage? Do you hear like a kid? I'm not here, I thought I heard a kid. Is there a child in here with us? Do you realize that you're dead? Was this your garage at one point? Probably antifreeze. Huh? <laughs> Probably stepped in antifreeze. Let us know you're in here if you're in here. All 
I heard like a thump, but it sounded like it came from outside. Last time Rocky and I were in here, we got a really loud thump. Something hit the wall of the barn. Can you do that again? Hmm. It's up there, up the road. It's not like it was this way. Can you do one thing that's super loud to help communicate with us? Hit something really loud for us. Are you out here in the garage? Where are you at right now? Shed. Why are you in the shed? Can you come in the garage with us? Or the barn? See, it looked like there was like this real black ball that was shot straight across the top of that garage. It looked like it was too big to be like a bird or something like that. It was just like a ball like this big that's shot. Are you out just are you outside? Come in the barn with us, please. Might just be not getting the signal because of the barn. Was this your car? That's mine. Can you see in here? It smells like death. I'm not sitting in there. God, that stinks. Was this your car? You want us to go back inside the house? Let's see if anything fell in the shed. Did you move anything in there? It's gonna be your last chance to move something. I think that's probably what happened last time, wasn't it? I don't know what it was, but maybe just this hitting. I think when I hit it last time, it probably knocked something over yeah. like that. So I would say that's debunked. 
Okay, I'm inside the house. Can you come in here and sit with me? I am literally surrounded by alarms. Got one back in the bedroom. Got three out here in the kitchen, one in the dining room. One out in the band area. So if anything moves throughout this house, I'm pretty confident it's going to set one of the alarms off. Alarm. Can you come in here with me? On the way up to the barn, Josh is going to be inside the house and I'll be out here in the barn to see if I can pick up anything. Are you more comfortable with me by myself? You knew I was coming back, didn't you? I don't think you're dangerous, but I'd really appreciate it if you came in here and sat with me and talked to me. I'm a guest inside your home. I think just because you're a spirit and I'm still living, we don't have to be afraid of each other. We should be able to have a normal conversation. Why is knocking so easy for spirits? Can you knock on something close to me to let me know that you're close to me? Thank you. Who is Barbara? I think sometimes a house can be so quiet, it's like scary quiet. I'm going to turn this device back on so you can talk to me, okay? Do you like having me inside your house? Is there really a child here? What is the child's name? That's several times we've had a child come over the spirit box, which is kind of creepy. Are you back in the bedroom? Is the child a new spirit? Sean found some clothes up in the attic. Were those your clothes? More loud thumps. I kind of want to move back to the kids' bedroom and run a spirit box session because they've had stuff recently moving in that room. And the grandfather, who is a huge skeptic, he was here when that happened and it kind of, you know, freaked him out. Okay, I'm back in the bedroom right now. Did you move stuff? Did you move stuff back here? I am not moving and that thing is going off. Are you on the bed next to me? Shut this off. Move away from it. Please move away from it. Thank you.
Okay, so Rocky and I are gonna start the cleansing. We're gonna start back here in the kids' bedroom, kind of work our way through the house, out of the house, and then hit the property. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we just ask that you help cleanse this house of any dark and negative energy. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. We seal this bedroom with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. Drive out any evil spirits, negative energy. We seal this doorway with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals inside this house. Any spirits that are trapped here or used to reside here, we seal this kitchen with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. Cast out all the evil amongst us. Lord, we call on the Holy Spirit and the angels of heaven to come down and cleanse this home. Set these spirits free. We seal this threshold with the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this shed with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. We seal this garage, the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits inside this garage, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Go be free and be at peace. We seal this barn with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any spirits that reside here, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. It is Jesus who has authority over this barn now. Be free. Barbara, Go be with your family, be free. You no longer have to be here. The child that's here, you can go be free too. We set you free in the name of Jesus. We seal this car with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any and all spirits attached to this car, we banish you in the name of Jesus. We set you free. Move on and leave this family alone.